the rescue with a new high-tech invention. Removing paint and varnish from the hull of the family dinghy, Nigel Farrell spent two years and a quarter of a million pounds experimenting with the Farrell system, a land-loving farmer turned inventor by economic circumstances. In the past, there's always been opportunities in farmers to diversify within themselves. Either the milk has been good, the beef industry has been good, or the uh, cereals have been good. At the moment, there is nothing in farming which is doing any good at all. And that's why it, it made me sit up and say, I've got to do this, and that's where it started. So for Nigel, the future of his 160-acre farm in Brawston on the Norfolk-Suffolk border now depends on his invention. A high-pressure water jet mixed with grit blasts clean the bottom of boats, stripping away rotten layers of coating and even old barnacles. It's been well received at this boat building yard in neighbouring Burcastle. Environmentally friendly, controllable and no dust. When you've got a lot of very expensive boats all congregated in a small area, it's very important that if you're working on one, you don't contaminate all the boats around with mess from the other boats. This system does that very well. Nigel's invention, featured in Tomorrow's World this evening, is being franchised across the globe. But the reason for his move into the marine technology of the future lies much closer to home. He'll try anything to keep his family on his ancestors' land. Steve Swan, BBC Look East, Norfolk. In the world of home decoration nowadays, it's how you get the paint onto the surfaces. It's all important. Do you rag roll or not rag roll? Do you sponge or not sponge? But what if after all of that, you just don't like it anymore? This is the answer to slow and messy stripping. It's down to a lot of air, a minuscule amount of sand, and a drop of water. Meet Nigel Farrow. He's a farmer, an inventor, and now a super stripper. He claims he's found a new way to speedily strip delicate surfaces with minimal damage and with very little mess. What's more, he says, he wouldn't be where he is today if it weren't for tomorrow's world. I can remember as a young boy sitting watching Tomorrow's World with my uncle. There was a gentleman standing there with his goggles on and he used just a par of water to actually cut through different types of steel. This enhanced me to, to look again at something that I always had a love for, is, is sailing. And the most notorious job I think everyone has got is scraping the bottom of them, which you can see here how difficult it is. And I set about achieving something and developing something that will do that. This 90-year-old wooden fishing boat is coated in a mat of barnacle beards and saltwater grime, but it's getting the makeover of its life, and all in record time. What you're seeing here took Nigel just over 25 minutes, many days faster than the alternative chore of stripping it by hand. There's nothing new about harnessing the power of high-pressure water, air and sand to clean boats, but what Nigel set out to design was a machine that would blend these ingredients to do the job without the mess a traditional blaster might leave behind. It was trial and error, of course. It was getting all the three elements right from the word go. The grit, the air and the water. But once you actually got the mix there, it worked. And it was just all the time squeaking it, turning it to get the blend perfectly right. So this is where it all happens. Now the water goes into this pipe from an ordinary household tap. It then goes into this tank, it's filled up with grit and water. It's then transferred into this box, which is where all the action happens. It's pressurized by air, and that's the secret of it, because the water and the grit are at very low levels, but the air drives them out through the pipe at the speed of a car on a motorway. Nigel gets more stripping power out of less grit thanks to a clever way of blending the ingredients by heat, vaporising the water to dampen the mix. But what comes out of the other end is cold and a lot less messy, allowing Nigel to tackle jobs in places a lesser sandblaster would never be invited. In three days flat, Nigel stripped back 200 years of prayer from these delicate pine pews in a church in Suffolk. And with just two hours' work, he helped restore the inside of this 300-year-old barn in Norfolk, places most water-drenching wet sand blasters fear to tread. So can he help at this 18th-century pub under restoration on the south coast? 
Its new owner has big plans and he's already had the sandblasters in. Andy, what are you doing? Well, as you can see, very dark old pub, and what we've done is strip back these oak beams. It took the boys a couple of days. They did a super job, but there was more dust upstairs than you can ever imagine, and it's going to take us probably two weeks to clean it up. So you'd like a way to do it without all this horrible dust? It would be wonderful if it could be achieved. One alternative to the dusty sandblasters used here in the pub is the gas blow torch, which is low on mess. So how will Nigel fare against the flame? We've pitched Nigel against your builder, Fred. Uh -huh. Gentlemen, are you ready? On your marks, get set, go. Nigel, quick off the mark there, but Fred's having a little trouble. To strip this table, Nigel's using just one and a half litres of water and not even a kilogram of sand. Given the time it's taking him, that's 20 times less water than a traditional wet sand blaster and around 10 times less sand. And Nigel's streaking ahead of the blowtorch, which looks like it's doing more burning than stripping. Nigel's coming up to the final bend, but Fred's still way behind. seconds I make it that's really very impressive sorry Fred bad luck really what do you think Andy well very impressive and very little mess at all Nigel well Thanks done what are you doing for the rest of the weekend funny you should say that nothing as long as you're supplying the beer well I think you better start with that ship's wheel over there then. no problem And finished just in the nick of time, the freshly stripped Fisherman's Rest is about to open for business. Nigel, cheers, mate. Well done. Good health Bless to you. you. Cheers. It's fantastic. I want one. Other people have designed similar systems, but Nigel plans to miniaturise his, and he has a patent pending. So fingers crossed, and it might soon be a feature of your home decorating kit. That's it for now. Join us next time for another glimpse of the future. The latest in